ever since they yes. come back from California. Okay, ask your question again, Dean. Oh, I was asking if uh, Grandma Shirley and Grandma Frances knew each other when they were younger. We did at church when our kids were younger. Mm -hmm. We oh, okay. had a boy, you did, and I had a girl, and they decided that they wanted to get married before they got out of high school. <laughs> we didn't decide, we did it. No, you didn't. <laughs> she wasn't out of high school. No, but he's, she's talking she's talking about wherever you... You uh, decided uh, you wanted run to, off get, to get married. Right. And they decided they were going to elope. It's because people didn't tell me what to do. And so I told you... They still don't. And I said, uh, wait till you get out of high school, Linda. Why don't you wait till you get out of high school? Because... She was on the honor row, and she was the editor of the school paper. And in those times, Victorian. and uh, yes, and uh, those times, if you were married, you lost, you gave all that up. And so I tried to convince her to wait until it was just it was February, and I wanted her to wait till May. They got in a hurry and decided they weren't going to wait. So they decided, and Linda waited till Dad and Mom went to bed. Well, I was home, Dad wasn't. And uh, they left. With the Miami. Uh huh. With another couple. Well, on the way, they decided they wouldn't do that. They that was with chicken. John and John and Pam Ellen. That's right. I, we talked to him the other day. Anyway, he, they decided, well, this might not be the right thing, so they come back and stay with John Allen. Well, I didn't know that <clears throat> you didn't know that Paul, they didn't go ahead and get married. But when they got there, they found out they couldn't get the license. Somebody we know sitting here wasn't old enough. <laughs> oh, Linda wasn't at the time. She, she, yeah, her birthday was in April, but this was February. Yeah, that's what I said. She, she wasn't was barely, yet. She so, was barely, barely old enough. So in Kansas, I got a hold not of, in Missouri. I got a hold of her and I said, you know, if these kids want to get married, they're going to do it the right way. Mm -hmm. So you and I decided they were going to go ahead and get married since they went to so much trouble to mm -hmm. elope and change their <laughs> mind. And we got them to the courthouse in Carthage, signed their, got them to sign their license. You and I went with them mm -hmm. and they stood right behind them while they signed their license. Got a and blood the, test. And the blood test. Yeah, you got a blood test and first, then you take three a days, license. And wait three days before that go through. In the mean, meantime, we may, I got my sister loaned Linda her wedding dress. Mm -hmm. And yeah, we got up. three little, three, three red dresses made. And we got the preacher and we got Diamond Grove Church set up. Mm -hmm. And we got these two married. They That's married on Don. Uh, well, they got married. We all moved. We got married That's on right. 12th. We were going to get married on Valentine's Day, but Valentine's Day fell on Sunday. You're right. Yeah. I know. And Leon Woolsey was the preacher, and he couldn't get married on Sunday, so we got okay. married on Friday night. So this is how your parents got married. <laughs> and everything was in red. They had the Valentine <clears throat> things. Uh, and the part they forget to tell you is that neither one of them wanted to talk to me for at least two months. <laughs> Well, we was like I non-existent. I did not do that. I went to you over there where you got your apartment right upstairs. In Diamond. And I gave you that rug that, that Danny Burton went and put Purex on to get the stain out that he dropped on it. That brand <laughs> new one. Right by your bed. Yeah. And, I, and I brought, took it over <laughs> and said it's got a hole in it. I said, they put it there, he can have it. Versus <laughs> <laughs> apartments. <laughs> and then I brought Put all these. The I I had all these shirts. I took every one of them out of the closet the that had the iron. Yeah, with that, water. With the, water. It wasn't the one you just wash them dry. You had to iron them shirts. Remember them? Mm -hmm. I got all of them out of there. I even took David's and Danny's because they fit him. He was just little. And I got all them shirts and took them over and gave them to Linda. I took them to John Linda, and she said, she asked me later, she said. Boy, I hated that. She said, I had a whole bunch of shirts to iron. I said, I said, I had, I, I, was, I just had them washed in a basket. I wasn't ironing them either. I had them little seersucker shirts, you know, they come out, well, but it's some other type. Anyway, they come out and you just wash them. You can hang them on the clothesline. They didn't wrinkle. Uh, and that's the ones I put on them. And now then I thought, well, I'll just take them over there. Maybe 
John, he liked, he wanted, he was dressing up a little bit to go to church, and I thought he could wear that. Some of them white shirts and long sleeve and. <laughs> Well, I worked for Pepsi at that time, so most of the time I, was hit, I well, worked in a uniform six days a week. Yeah. When Linda graduated well, from high school, Sunday. when yeah. Linda graduated from high school, they had a camp out, a cookout on the river, and they had a bonfire going. Mm -hmm. Well, somebody threw gasoline. Still got the scars from that one. Somebody threw <laughs> gasoline. <laughs> Gasoline, didn't he? Didn't Danny Burton throw the gasoline? And, and run right up his leg and burned the britches that he had on. <laughs> and uh, when graduation come, he didn't have any clothes to wear to, for graduation because now he had too many sores and burns on his legs. Well, he had some third degree burns on there. So I bought him a pair of at uh, bell bottom trousers. You know, those were popular then. Yeah. Bell bottoms. Real wide. Yeah, Easy the, to get the pant legs. And we split up one of them up the side so he could go to graduation, Linda's graduation. Yep. And, but he, he, he limped for a long time with all those burns. This gasoline come right from the fire, right back up. He to needed him. skin grafts, I think. Well, but I still got all the scars on that leg from that. Yeah. I still work, though. Yeah. yeah. I went and worked on the pop line at the... But that's a cute apartment up here, wasn't it? Yeah. It's up above a, a store. their first apartment, they let something run over and, and the flood tenants. the barber shop. That was underneath. <laughs> we, had, we, the set up a, was underneath. we set up on yeah. the second floor, and the barber shop was underneath us. And it was right underneath the bathroom. And uh, we was filling up a tub. We had one of those big, huge, deep claw tubs, claw foot tubs. Uh -huh. And... I had to soak every night for my uh, leg and stuff. I had to soak it to get all the dead skin and everything off of it. And I had that water running. And I went in there and went to sleep on the couch. Yeah. Well, here comes the barber running up the stairs. He's pounding on my door, pounding on my door. He said, you got one hell of a water leak down there. He says, I got water pouring through my ceiling, down through the light fixtures. He says, it's flooding my barber shop. Is that who you rented from? No, uh -huh. we rented it from Rex. Did he lived on the upstairs the across from me, but he owned the whole he owned the whole building. Did you have pipe for the damage? No, it, well, we didn't tell him the tub was overflowing. We oh. said, "Yeah, the pipe must be must be flooded." <laughs> well, I'm gonna go downstairs. He says, "And shut the water off on the main." So he went downstairs and shut the main, and we never did tell him the tub run over. <laughs> oh, we hurried up and drained the tub out and everything, and dried it all out with towels and everything because we were scared that we were going to have to pay for the barber shop. <laughs> <laughs> and then Rex came over there the next day and he wanted to know, you know, he went all through there. He said, I can't find a busted pipe no place. He said, I don't know where all that water come from. We said, well, we don't, we don't know. <laughs> Must be in the floor or something somewhere, you know. We never did say one way or the other. We was afraid we would have to buy the barber shop. Apartment. Their, this There's one their other first, thing I can tell. The first apartment. Uh, when we was uh, at home, Mom, uh, we had took bath in the number three tub, the yeah. galvanized tub. Yeah. And there was mom and dad and us four kids. Well, they'd, they'd, they'd start out with the water and if you're lucky, you're the first one to get to get in this tub to take your bath. You take turns, really. Uh -huh. And then, then the next one, they got in with the same bath water and they'd pour another tea kettle of water in to warm it up. Mm -hmm. And it went on down to the whoever got the last. They had some real dirty water. With them. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, that's how we done. And we took a bath on Friday night. Well, no, we took. We had to take a little laxative on Friday night, whether you needed it or not. Mm -hmm. And then we'd take our bath on Saturday night because we went to church on Sunday. <laughs> so we only had the bath once a week mm -hmm. in this tub. <laughs> <laughs> and it'd take, well, you'd have your fifth turn, you got to be first on the, in the tub. Oh, so you got to rotate it around. Well, that was nice. Yeah, yeah, they took turns, but uh -huh. you'd have to, if you was the fifth one down, <laughs> you was taking the bath in dirty water. <laughs> it might be dirty after all of them, more or less than that. Yeah, yeah, that's good. That's how we got our bath. <laughs> how did you do those kids? Yeah, yeah that's, that was out down there at Low Water Bridge. Yeah. Uh, well, we're on, uh, Cause we had uh, 
We had where Mary lived too. We used to take a, take a bath that in that was at her house. Mm -hmm. Yeah, her house. We always had a, a modern house when we got married, but we bought this house at Low Water Bridge, and it didn't. <coughs> in fact, Johnny was just a baby then. Uh -huh. Danny was born down there. We had uh, we got it, and it was uh, we had to take a bath in there because we didn't have water in the house. Yeah, by Miss Blunt. Had a pump outside. Mm -hmm. Then Dad, Grandpa, put an electric thing on it where we didn't have to pump it. Wow. And I kept, I had to wash all of the dirty diapers. <coughs> if we had to wash them, we had regular dye cloth diapers. And put them in the, had a tub out in the well house. Well, I thought I'd just soak them out there overnight and noise and wash them the next day. Well, that whole day that was out there, we had real hot sun. It's summertime. Mm -hmm. The next morning, Grandpa went out there and opened up the well house, and I mean, it like the dock being flat. <laughs> <laughs> All them diapers in the back. <laughs> and the well house wasn't that big, you know. <laughs> so he said, he said, I was never to put them in there again. <laughs> but we bought the diapers. Remember how white they would be? You'd mm -hmm. boil them on the stove, right? Oh, yeah, we'd put them, get uh -huh. them white so they would look pretty and white. We couldn't uh -huh. use Clorox in them uh -huh. because it'd break the kids out, the babies. Uh -huh. but uh -huh. We'd boil them and wash with the ringer washer and uh -huh. hang them on the line. And uh -huh. then you have the washer, you used a washboard. Mm -hmm. I used the washboard for a long time too. Uh -huh. Wow. So that's it. <laughs>